Raul, the current ASI student government Pro vice president, is an aspiring city planner, also graduating today with a degree in environmental science and resource management. Atticus and Raul were both recipients of the 2019 Richard R. Rush Outstanding Senior Student Leader Award for their service this year. Please welcome to the lectern, Atticus and Raul. Good afternoon, fellow Dolphins. Welcome to your graduating ceremony of 2019. My name is Atticus Reyes, the ASI Student Government President. My name is Raul Perez, the Student Government Vice President. I wanted to talk a little bit about today some of the really important things that we need to take from this ceremony, which is the support that countless people have given us to come to this moment. This ceremony is more than just about us. It's about the countless people who have stood behind us and have lifted us and supported us to get to this moment. That's why this is far more than just about us. This is about everyone here in attendance who's standing and thanking and so proud of all of you, the class of 2019. I'd love for us to thank them right now. I'd like to thank ASI, faculty members that have changed my life, and administration that has been completely supportive of my beliefs and my values. Most important, I'd like to thank my family. Being raised by a single mother in Los Angeles with six other children was really difficult. And like many of you today, probably in a similar situation, she found a way. And for all the single moms here today, you are so important, you are so valued, and you are so loved. Thank you. And to my beautiful sisters, my four older sisters, you instill a drive in me to help those that sometimes are often the most attacked. And that's a really important thing today, as this country is questioning what women can do with their bodies. And it's really concerning to me as I look at my sisters who are so important to me and so valuable. And it's not the only issue that's tossed on our plate today. President Beck talked about climate change and how our generation, the class that's standing here before you, has to figure out climate change, gun violence, income inequality, all these other issues. And I don't have the answers and it keeps me up at night. But as I look on you all, and I look at this brilliance, and I look at this intelligence, I know we can do it together. The thing about structures, and I'm a history major, so I believe in structuralism, is they're intense and they're intimidating, but they're human-made, which means they can be unmade. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. used to talk about the arc of the moral universe. He used to talk about the arc of history, and that it's often long, and we can't see where it's going, but it bends towards justice. It bends towards fairness. And one thing I want to instill in you all today is as we leave, when some want to stiffen and harden that arc of history, you are being called upon by your foremothers and forefathers to bend that arc towards justice, towards equity, and towards fairness. And when you do so, you create a world that loves and respects all of its inhabitants. Thank you. And at this moment, it's my esteemed privilege and honor to share the microphone with Raul Perez, the Vice President of Student Government, who has been such a constant figure at this university. Thank you, Atticus, for those inspiring words. My name is Raul Perez, and it's been my greatest honor and greatest privilege to serve as your student government vice president this year. I'll be honest with all of you, I have no idea what I'm doing here. <laughs> Speaking to you all right now is the surrealest experience I could have ever asked for, and I would have never thought in my wildest dreams that me, being a Latino male from the lower middle class, raised from a single mom with three brothers in the greater Los Angeles area, would be here not only speaking to you all, but be graduating from a four-year university. Woo! 
like most of you, I'm also a first generation college student. The odds were not in my favor coming to this university. I had no idea how to sign up for classes, purchase a textbook, or frankly anything related to obtaining a higher education. I couldn't ask my mom, my grandparents, or my fellow students because they were just as confused as I was. And there I was, feeling like a hopeless freshman, not knowing what to do or if college was for me. Yet, with the endless support of professors, staff, and administration, I, like all of you today, have been able to reach a milestone in my life that I will remember forever. I firmly believe if this was any other university, I would have been left to sink. I like to think I'm a good student who, on occasion, probably more than occasion, needs help. Thankfully, on this campus, we have a litany of personnel who thoroughly care for the students and not only support us, but uplift, uplift us as well. I owe my success to many people. To my mom, thank you for being the most caring, harsh, but loving person I can ever ask for. <laughs> to Caitlin, my beautiful girlfriend, thank you for allowing me to cry and break down to you in three in the morning over all the stress and assignments I had to do over the years. To the students, to the students sitting before me, thank you for proving to myself, yourself, and this world that no matter your background, no matter your struggles, you have the power to overcome everything. Thank you to ASI for providing me with a second home. To the ESRM department, thank you for providing, uh, for proving to me that there is a world worth fighting for. <laughs> to my family, who I cannot name all, thank you for all the love and support over the years. And a special thank you to this university, who I owe everything to. I learned a lot throughout my time here at CI. If my major taught me one thing, it wasn't how to deliver a commencement speech barefoot, <laughs> but it, it, what, it did teach me that we are the students and we are the generations that will propel this world, that will propel us forward and change this world forever. And if you don't believe me, please allow me to share some of the accomplishments that we students of CI accomplished this year. We, the students of CI, raised about $7,000 to ensure that fellow students no longer go hungry. We, the students of CI, were the winners of the California Ballot Bowl, registering the highest percentage of students to, to vote in the whole state of California. And the list goes on. If you still don't believe me when I say that we are the ones who are gonna change this world, then I need you to look around and see just what a dolphin can really do. We are the smartest animals in the sea for a reason, so please never forget your value or your worth. Now's not the time to discount yourself. Each and every one of you will carry the torture progression forward, but as you do so, I ask for one thing in return. Please never forget that it was the loved ones, your friends, your family, and these students before you, and most importantly, CI, that help you push us forward. Although we have different paths in life, whether you are moving back home or starting a life that is new or unfamiliar, or continuing your education at a different institution, as difficult and even scary as it may, to move, as it may be to move on and go forward, you will never be alone. Because we dolphins are never really alone. We travel in pods and always have someone swimming beside us. This university has a way of not only setting us up for success, but placing us on top. It also has an act for creating long lasting friendships and even longer lasting memories. With that, my fellow dolphins, for one and final, my last and final time, please remember, swim fast, but swim together. Thank you. Woo!